So to go from the top down and get a four inch cant on this mill, here's what we have to do. We have to go one full turn, which gives us two inches, then another full turn, which gives us four inches, and then we'll do two notches to allow for the kerf. And then we'll check our number here and it's sitting right at four and three sixteenths. So what I'll do is just go one more just to kind of split the difference there. And we're looking at four and an eighth. So we should get two cants, which are pretty darn close to four. So that gives us our two cants that we need to get our boards out of. These are both four inches or so wide. And the sawmill depth gauge is telling me that this whole thing here is just shy of nine inches, maybe eight and 15 sixteenths or something like that. Let's go ahead and cut them out and see what we get. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That makes 14 because we got two cans. And uh, yeah, pretty good there. Let's do another one.
So the depth gauge on the mill is telling me that this log is about 15 and three quarter inches on this end. This is the large end and it's only about 15 on the other end. So it's a very, very straight log. And uh, what I would love to try to do is get a 12 inch cant out of this and get three four inch cants out of that. It's gonna be super, super close. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it or not, but I'm gonna try. Some of you might be wondering why I did such an aggressive cut on this face right here. This would have been the top that you just saw me cut and I cut quite a bit off of it. Well, the reason is I've got to have sharp corners here. I've, it's it's really important that I have sharp corners here so that uh, the cant will be able to clamp against these little ears right here. And I have to have a sharp corner right here so that the clamp will clamp up under uh, up under that as well because this will eventually be flipped over and this will be on the bottom. So that's why I took such an aggressive cut off of that side. So here's what I'm talking about on these corners here. If you can see this log has got good, sharp 90 degree corners here and it fits perfectly, butts perfectly up against this ear. And on this other side, this puck, I believe that's what Woodmiser calls this as a puck, is gonna be able to go up under this log just like that. And that gives us a really good strong clamp. So I got the three four inch cants that I wanted and I'm happy to say they pretty well are about four inches a piece according to that depth gauge. But what I want to do now is you can see this piece, there's going to be a straight line right across here that the saw blade is going to come across. This piece right here is trash. This piece is trash. This very top piece is trash, but there is one board right here that I want to get out. So I'll, I'll take a very shallow cut off of the top here and then I'll be able to go down one inch. That'll waste this and this, but it'll get 
uh, it'll get that one board out of there that I would waste completely if I just did a straight line across there. So that second cut got it worked out pretty good. Now I've got it dropped down uh, the thickness that I need and that'll get the board out of this middle cant right here. Then we'll keep going down and get the rest of our boards. So that one turned out extremely good. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven times three, 21 across there, plus that one we saved across the top. So that's 21 plus 14, that's 35 pieces of lathing that we got out of those, just those two logs. That was a really, really, really good yield on those. So if things go according to plan, we'll be putting these up here in uh, hopefully the next few days, maybe on Monday. Today's Saturday. If things go right, maybe they'll be, they'll be up on Monday. But uh, either way, this is probably enough for the whole shed. I'm, I'm not really sure. We'll just, we'll just have to see. So 35 pieces and uh, out of two logs, I think that's really, really good. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. I appreciate you watching, and I will see you on the next one.